Is it possible that light can become a physical aspect of our product design? Could it become a light signature? Before we go on that journey, I want to take a trip down memory lane. And I want you to imagine a sunset. Probably something that we've all seen at some point in our lives. Probably when we were on holiday or on vacation. And sunsets typically have the power to stop us and slow us down for a second and attract all our attention and just enjoy light and be aware of it. So this is a fascination that we see that is universal. Everybody has a certain fascination for light. Roughly, we can distinguish between three sorts of light that we perceive in nature and that we can translate into light application. The first one is ambient luminescence. And ambient luminescence is the light that surrounds us every day. So if you have the sun and you go outside, there's ambient luminescence. It surrounds us always and we're hardly never aware of it. Ambient luminescence can be something that comes out of your window or through your window and fills your home. But it can also be a pendant or a main object that gives general direct lighting, the main lighting that you would use. Second sort of light would be focal glow. Focal glow is when you cast a beam of light that's condensed. It's ideal for highlighting objects, for creating drama. Think about a theater stage, for example. It's also ideal if you want to create more depth in your room using layering. So it adds a lot of vividness to your lighting situation. The third and last sort of light is what we call play of brilliance. So imagine a little breeze over water so that the water ripples and a sunbeam casting on top of that, you get refraction and, and reflection, creating these sparkles that are very nice. You see that a lot of times uh, applied in, in chandeliers, for example, where they recreate that sort of luxury effect. And the nice thing is that they have this intrinsic value, so they have decorative value on its own. It's not really functional light, but it, has, it adds another aspect of drama again. So what if we could capture some of that fascination for light? and some of the different sorts of lights into our luminaire design. Is it possible to design a luminaire in such a way that it's clear to you what's its, what its purpose is, what it's meant to be for? And on top of that, is it possible to capture some of that fascination into the physical presence of the luminaire itself? Let's have a look at some examples. Next to me here, we have Piega Luce. And already on first impression, you can tell it's a luminaire that's suited to highlight long objects. So ideally, for example, for a very long table. Now what we try to do in here, to take it to a next level, is imagine that you want to capture the essence of light, and that's what we do here. So you take a sheet of paper, for example, and you're trying to capture the light that is everywhere. And you compress it, what would happen? The light would leak out on all its edges. So that's actually what you see happening here in the case of Piega Luce. So it's nothing material, you compress it until there's nothing left and you see the edges highlighting. So here we have La Lente, which is a very small table lamp which is ideal for some discrete accent lighting. And what it actually tells you is something very puzzling. Because if you look at it, La Lente is fully solid material. There's no part that light can come out, although it, it's clearly a lamp and hints about that. But there's nothing on the inside, so it's purely mass. Light isn't mass, it's just the opposite. Yet if you put it on, all of a sudden there's light. So the immaterial and the material play uh, an important puzzling role here. It also dims up nicely so that you really see how the light fills in there. And then it disappears again. So there's some magic in here that tells you something about yeah, the, the thing that you hardly can grasp about light. It is material, it is immaterial. What is it actually? I'm here with you beyond. And in this case, if you look at the luminaire, obviously it's, it's suited for general lighting, so for ambient luminescence. But it's telling you something more through the simple layering of two bodies on top of each other. It's telling you that the lower part is best for your ambient light, whereas you can do something else with the top light. And let's see what we can do here. See how the, the warm light gently and subtly pours in. And you can create these very rich effects. 
for example, like mimicking the sunset that we were talking about earlier. So this light tells you how you can use it and how you can combine different light sources in one object and create these stunning natural and fascinating effects that we see everywhere around us. So as we've just seen, there are many different ways of translating light into a physical presence. And at Philips Design, we continue to explore this path and make our lighting as fascinating as possible.